Joe Budden returning to Complex, I felt should have been a bigger moment watching the episode. It was a best rapper alive topic for the episode where Joe and the host have to choose 16 rappers and between all of them, which one's better than the other one to be the best rapper alive. And before we get into the actual bracket itself, Joe from Everyday Struggle up until this point, all the jabs at Complex, everything they did wrong, whether we're talking about money, management, the way they were setting everything up, to see Joe return again. This should have been a behind the scenes of him entering the building, looking at the building, maybe have some employees like walking in and make it some grand music, more entertaining. But hey, we got Joe sitting in the chair, a, a cozy chair, a, a bit of an improvement, and breaking down the rapper bracket. Which rapper is better than the other rapper? Now, keep in mind, I said earlier, best rapper alive, right? When I hear best rapper alive, I'm thinking, okay, clearly they're alive. We're not, we're not talking about anyone who passed away. And their entire discography, singles, features, and album up until this point. So I was like, okay, this will be an interesting discussion. Me peeping into Joe Budden's podcast here and there, I more or less have an idea of who's, who he's going to choose. But it was a bit weird throughout, throughout the bracket because there was an emphasis on it has to be sometimes, were they active in 2022? How many projects did they push? Did the feature outweigh projects? And it got to a point where it's like, all right, Complex, of course, dropping the ball, getting it too messy, and Complex doing complex things. Joe pointed it out, but for example, having Drake versus Pusha T for one of the brackets, y'all know why they're doing it. Freddie Gibbs, Benny the Butcher, Y'all know why they're doing it. Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. But aside from that, it brings some interesting discussion. So to go over those complex, like, uh, you know, rapper go-aheads, rapper go-aheads, choosing some of those. Drake and Pusha T as far as best rapper alive. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Ob- obviously, Pusha T. Freddie Gibbs and Benny the Butcher. Freddie got my vote on that. Cardi B versus Nicki. As far as rapping, we giving it to Nicki. And not, not just based on 2022. I mean, yeah, based on 2022, I mean, Nikki been dropping what? Like five, six singles already? Plus um, she relaunched one of her older projects, I believe. That's a no-brainer. And of course, they're doing this for the buzz, for the attention. But it, this is one of those things like, all right, Cardi B hasn't dropped an album since 2017. So why are we doing the best rapper alive? And she hasn't really been active. And then it gets confusing whenever we see the comparisons that they had Jay-Z versus Nas. Jay-Z's two features in 2022 versus Nas in 2022, nothing. Which, understandably, he didn't drop anything. But if it's Best Rapper Alive, and recently he dropped King's Disease 1, King's Disease 2, and Magic. Jay-Z ain't ain't dropped dropped nothing. Two features? You're telling me God did is going to outweigh three Nas albums? Absurd. Ridiculous, entertaining, definitely entertaining. Seeing Joe choose Jay Z, I was blown away. I was like, "Really, Joe? You're gonna let the New York bias? What <laughs> New York bias? You're gonna let the Jay Z bias over Nas? You're gonna, you're gonna let that? You're gonna let that do Nas like that? It is what it is." Some other questionable votes from Joe was choosing Future over Kanye, as far as best rapper alive. I don't know. I definitely got Kanye over Future and Nicki Minaj over Tyler, the creator. The reasoning being she's dropped more recent music. But again, this isn't just based on 2022 Best Rapper Alive. So the fact that Joe chose Nicki Minaj is a, you know, over Tyler, the creator. Having Nicki Minaj over Tyler, the creator blew my mind. And if you step back, even without hearing Joe, just ask yourself if this sounds right. Nicki Minaj is a better rapper than Tyler, the creator, because she posted, she released more music in 2022. So she's the best rapper alive in comparison to Tyler, the creator. That sounds messy, right? That's throughout the whole episode. My emotions, they were everywhere. Overall, it was entertaining. It was dope seeing Joel return to Complex and be chill, laid back, have some fun with, I would like to assume, uh, I keep forgetting the host's name, but just having fun with the entire bracket, being more laxed. and. I would like to see more of these episodes. But getting 